Ruby Rose is currently trending on Twitter because she went on a date night with her boo Drewski. Somebody said Drewski really out here kissing Ruby. No way this relationship is real. Okay, so she she posted this on Twitter. He said, I don't want to believe Ruby gave in just like that, bro. I put him on for real. Oh, so a couple of years ago, Ruby tweeted, I too need a big boy. And then somebody had tagged Drewski. But I guess funny guys are up. Everything good till she go through that phone. Oh, you was dead serious. This better be a long skit. It's just his turn. Might be mine tomorrow. Who third willing to record this though? Drewski just tasted the whole rap industry. White tongue. Y'all looking close. Well, not y'all. Y'all the key Texas. But they looking that close that they can tell that somebody's tongue is white. What the heck? Next topic is going to be Yanni and Rich Boy Troy. So, y'all know Brooklyn Queen dropped the bombshell that Yanni is pregnant. If you guys missed that, just head on over to my channel that you're already on and check out that video. But my question is, is this... Troy's way of confirming the pregnancy because he's listening to a song when the rapper and y'all comment down below whose song is this so when the rapper says something about his baby mama he Troy points the camera to Yanni do y'all think this is his way of confirming the pregnancy Okay, next up is Halle Bailey. So y'all know the Met Gala was yesterday and she did not go. Here's why. Up, it's me. So I see a lot of you guys like, oh my gosh, Halle, are you going to the Met? No, y'all. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm here in Virginia working on this film. So today I'm on set filming all day. Mm, not able to make it to the Met this year because of my filming schedule but that's okay because next year next year will pop out um and I'm working on something I'm really excited about so yeah I'm gonna be watching from my phone looking at all the fashion loving it I'm so excited to see everybody today what's been going on I had the greatest weekend with my little family um, with Mumu and Halo, we just had the best time just relaxing and laying around and watching movies and playing games. Um, so that's why I've been MIA. But today is a new week. Hallie R. Chloe did not go because Chloe posted this photo. She said, waiting for the Met Gala looks tonight like. And then they say, no, girl, you are supposed to be getting ready. They said, you not there, what, girl, why didn't you go? You look good in this photo, but wow, so you not going. Girl, why aren't you attending? Oh, you are stunning. We are set for yours. Wait, girly, you ain't coming, we lost. So a lot of people was expecting both of them to go, and they're not going. Well, they didn't go, because today's a new day. But just to show y'all, this was um, Hallie's look last year. This is what she wore last year. Let's talk about I'm um, Dante really quick. So there's a tweet that talks about the woman who was on stage with Drake in 2010 as a 17-year-old speaks out. It was nothing then and it's still nothing new. I mean, <laughs> it's still nothing now. So if y'all heard about this, it's pretty much a girl who was 17 at the time. She was on stage with Drake back in 2010. And I think he kissed her or something. So um, Dante retweeted that and said the amount of people mad because they want the girl to be a victim of SA and grooming is just as weird as the video. It's okay to hate Drake, I get it, but telling another woman about her experience and what she should feel just because of your hatred is boop. So I'm um, Dante got some hate for that tweet, right? And then he switched it up and he said, yeah, no, she's a victim, 100. He also said, trolling aside, I stand by my stance. I just didn't like how people were misconstruing my point. 
Also, from hearing other people's opinion, I see why my tweet looked OD crazy. If I can't recognize my errors and learn from them, then what was the outrage for in the first place? And then somebody asked him about Metro grooming, Dante. He said, I've seen it. It's very ironic, but I'm only going to go into topics like this on stream from now on where I can actually have a convo back and forth. Clearly, Twitter leaves too many open angles. Now, speaking of Drake, this morning it was reported that his security got hit with the blam blam and he is currently unconscious and DJ Academics is you know keeping us updated he posted their health right now those are all the details we know so far um now again police obviously on scene we're hoping they'll give us a bit of an update uh as soon as possible so we can learn more about what happened here uh early this morning well one of the questions it's raising uh, megan is of course drake has already been in the headlines i don't know how closely everyone's been following this but if you follow hip-hop or if you're following entertainment news drake has been in this ongoing battle, this rap feud with Kendrick Lamar. So tell us about that a bit. Yeah, and that's really been heating up uh, over the last few days. It's a feud that's been going on for years, but it really has ramped up in the last couple of days with both musicians releasing multiple tracks aimed at each other, uh, containing lyrics with pretty uh, ugly personal insults. Um, one of the songs that Kendrick Lamar released uh, when he put it out on his social media channels, uh, the cover art for that track included an image of this house behind me, of Drake's house, an aerial... They saying this on the news. What the heck? More info on the shooting at Drake's house. His security guard got hit in a drive-by. So yeah, he's just like you know he's um oh he went he he had surgery. Dang, how y'all popped the security guard? Who was y'all like? What? Who did this? Why? What? This is supposed to be just a little rap stuff. Y'all supposed to be going back and forth with rap. Y'all not supposed to actually go into real life and actually try to harm uh, each other but you know this is what happens y'all was hitting below the belt mm, i don't know what the heck real shot um now it's pretty well known that drake has a mansion in toronto in this area of toronto uh but that image of his exact house had been put out by kendrick lamar and again um uh, both artists taking shots at each other uh, through their lyrics a uh, very ugly feud that has had a lot of people talking in recent days and then this shooting at the house uh, earlier this morning now there is an absolutely no evidence to suggest that feud is connected to what happened here last night but people online certainly who do follow uh, the two rappers are certainly talking about it and uh, quite likely that'll be one of the questions for police uh, if they speak to us this morning Natasha CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick Natasha okay thank you uh, what's your name Megan for this this update yeah this is insane let me know what y'all think about this Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud and I'm um, Dante and who else we talked about everybody else we talked about in this video